See, you had the same reaction as my my little Miss Ten. Like, um, we had the man in the red suit uh, talk the other week, and um, mm-hmm. she wanted this really really expensive toy, and it was going to be the gift from the man with the big red suit. And I said, "Do you know there is no such thing, don't you?" And she's like, "Well, who's been eating my food?" And I'm like. <laughs> Who do you think? And she's like, oh, my God. And then hubby came back to the car, and the first thing out of her mouth was, you ate my food. (laughs) (laughs) And we're all just sitting there going, okay, so you're not worried about the presents we bought you. You're not worried about the whole, you know, stuff. You're worried about the food we ate. Right. Okay. We got all that sorted out now. (laughs) Yes. Well, you know, I kind of have the same. I, I'm right there along with her because once my parents had that talk, actually, mine was the, uh, I don't know, do y'all do the tooth fairy too? Yeah. <clears throat> I figured that out with the tooth fairy. Yeah. And uh, then everything just kind of fell apart. And my world was over. <laughs> yeah, no, she had a tooth come out two weeks ago, last week, something like that. And she didn't even bother. She goes, oh, should I put it under my pillow? I'm like, why? And she's like, oh, right, okay. And you sort of like, you feel crushed. And you're like, oh, I wish I had just waited, like, just till that tooth fell out. Then I could have just, you know, dumped the whole box of bricks on her head and just gone, you know, yeah. And yeah, because pretty much once once you figure one out, you start, everything else kind of starts to unravel and you start putting pieces together. Yeah, unfortunately we have, it's sort of, you know, it's far enough away from April for her not to figure out about the big-eared bozo. See, I'm trying to, I'm trying to code this stuff, so any little kids that are listening. (laughs) Well, first of all, if we have any little kids listening, we have a bigger problem. (laughs) Very true. But yeah, she hasn't figured that one out yet. So I'm thinking, yeah, no, she's just going to play that one just to get that extra chocolate. <laughs> well, well, do you? Oh, I would. Hell, I, I would too. <laughs> especially what that big-eared buffet gets her. Seriously. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't talk about your hubby that way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me. But no, I figured it out because um, with uh, the fairy that flies around and collects teeth, mm-hmm. I'm not good at this coding stuff. <laughs> The Fang Fairy. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the Teefy's Fairy. Mm-hmm. Um, I my light was off, and I know it was off because if you didn't leave lights off, or like if you left the room and you left the light on, you'd get yelled at. So I know that I left my light off, but then um, I walked out, walked into the living room, or walked into the kitchen, or something. And mom was, you know, talking about how she was about to go to bed and all this. I saw her walk back there. I look down the hall, and my light is on. And so I was like, all right. So I walk back there, peek under the pillow, and there's my money. I was like, aha, I caught her. (laughs) So I, like, followed her into the bathroom, cornered her, and said, it's not real, is it? Oh. And she's like, what are you talking about? I was like, my light was on, and there's money under my pillow, and I know you get it. And she's like, what are you talking about? I was, I did not go in your room. I was like, that, that, that. my light was on. <laughs> you guys kill me if I leave my light on. Gosh. No, probably the closest I ever got to having a moment like your mum was... You know, we, we'd make a really big deal like that day when she lost a tooth for her to clean a room up. And there's one time the tooth fell out right before bed. And of course, you know, the bed's bedroom's like, you know, a crap heap. And, you know, I'm like, okay, her dresser is like on the other side of the room. I have to navigate around Lego pieces, a Barbie doll or three, a couple of model cars, and... 
I think there's a hairbrush in there somewhere with the prong sticking up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this is going to end really well. No. And so I think I stepped on the hairbrush and I'm like, oh, oh God, that hurts. And then I stepped on Barbie's boobs. Probably <laughs> stepped on a car which had spiky, pointy uppy bits. And then I kicked one of the pieces of Lego and it went flying across the room and went, dink! And of course, you know, the whole Ooh, thing never woke her up. It was the dink of the Lego hitting the wall. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> and you're just standing there with like, you know, a Barbie hand up between your toes and the thumb is like sticking into the webbing under your foot. And you're like, don't scream. She's going to go back to sleep in a second. She'll just roll over. And she did. And I put the money in there. And then I'm like, I didn't step on anything on my way out. But I tell you, that was the most gripping two minutes of my life. Because I'm just like, (laughs) just don't scream. It hurts like hell, but just don't scream. (laughs) I walked back into the room. I turned to hubby and I said, that's your job next time. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> so you just see there and you're like oh I did it and of course you know the next morning oh my god it's like 50 cents so I'm going yeah that's great and then she goes my friend got five dollars oh my god <laughs> good for your friend she's like well how can it be the same fang fairy if I'm getting 50 cents and she's getting five bucks I'm going ah oh, maybe she ran out of money <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lots of lots of kids lost teeth this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, you know. And then you sort of, <laughs> you turn around, and you're going, "Who the hell is giving their kids five bucks for a tooth? Seriously?" Yeah, I got like a dollar. Of course, then again, I was little, so it was like a dollar. Oh my god, a dollar! Well, I was thinking, you know, I I always found the shiniest coin. You know, always went out of my way to keep a really nice shiny coin aside to, you know, give to it and everything. But no, that wasn't good enough because Thingamabob gets five bucks. And it's like... (laughs) Oh, really quick off to the side. I have to tell you something really, really funny. Okay. I was in a sociology class a few uh, years ago. And um, there was this guy in my class. His name was Evan. Oh, my God. He was, like, my best friend ever. Well, we were discussing in the sociology class um, why Barbie is not the ideal woman. You know, she is not proportionate. And the teacher was kind of going off on a rant here. <laughs> and he's like, you know, she's not proportionate. Her hips are too large for her body. Her you know, breasts are far too you know, enhanced and all this. And just kind of going on and on. And then out of nowhere, I'm, I'm not kidding you, out of nowhere – my friend Evan interrupts the teacher and screams, and she has no nipples. <laughs> and we all, the class just goes silent. <laughs> and we know we're just so scared. You know, if we all laugh, we're all going to get in trouble. So <laughs> none of us say anything. And we're like, okay, shh. And then um, the teacher starts laughing. He goes, well, yeah, there is that. She doesn't have any nipples. So, yes, yeah, she is not the ideal woman because you would like a woman with nipples. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. God, we could talk for hours on stupid stuff people have said in class. Seriously? Oh, my goodness. Oh, blimey. But guess what? What? We're like three minutes over. So, yeah, isn't that cool? And I have a storm rumbling around outside again. Can you believe that? Uh oh. Oh, It's driving me bonkers. So it's a good thing we're just about finished. Yes. So let me just line up and then we'll say our goodbyes. Okay. Okay. You have a Miami? Yeah, we have Miami. It's on the Gold Coast. We have a Miami. And a Cleveland. Yeah, we have a Cleveland, and we have um, a Texas. There's a Texas on there, too. You have a black butt. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we have black butt. 
Well, I, I was talking about you, but yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been to Club Hellfire. How did you know? No. <laughs> well, you know, I'm psychic. <laughs> yeah, goodness. Okay, I think that's a good point to leave it. <laughs> On that bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bombshell. <laughs> mm, but I'm ch- Alrighty, everybody. We'll see you next week. See you later. Bye. And this has been the Friday Catch Up, powered by the Paraquest Radio Network. Remember to catch the Hostess with No Ghostess every Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, on the Paraquest Radio Network.